Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to manipulate frames or how to move driver between frames in your web testing. When testing web applications, in some cases, some contents display on a different frame such as iframe. In order to manipulate elements on iframe, you need to move the driver to the frame and do actions on the frame element. For doing that, you can use switch to frame function in Selenium Python WebDriver. Now let's see an example. On this jQueryUI.com website, there is an element dialog. On this dialog page, we have a basic dialog, and this dialog element is inside an iframe. Now let's see the HTML structure. So right click on the basic dialog and inspect element or inspect. So let me move this to the visible area and use the pointer to select the basic dialog. So basic dialog is a span element and if you look at the hierarchy of the element, this element is located under an iframe. So this iframe contains other elements or another web page and it started with HTML and it ended with HTML and iframe. So in order to interact with the elements within that iframe, we need to use switch to frame function in Selenium Python WebDriver. Now let's look at the script. So this test case is, we need to verify that basic dialog is displayed on this page, on this dialog page. So now I close this element inspector and I open up the Python shell. Now let's close this window and open a new window for testing. So I close this window. So first we need to import WebDriver from Selenium. From Selenium import web driver now let's define a driver instance so driver equals web driver dot let's use chrome browser So driver dot let's maximize the window. So now window is maximized. So let's open the URL for testing. Driver dot get the URL is http j query ui.com slash dialog so now the site is opened
So from this side, we need to verify this dialog box or this title is displayed. So first, we need to get this iframe. So let's define the frame. Frame equals driver dot so find element by we can use the tag name because on this page we only have one iframe so now we define the frame Now we need to switch to the frame. So driver dot use switch to frame. We have already defined a frame in the previous step. So we just type in the frame reference. So now the driver got switched to the frame so now let's get the basic dialog element so let's look at the html so inspect so this element can be identified using span id or user text so we can use the text basic dialog to identify the element. Please remember that this span is under this iframe. So we need to switch to the iframe in order to manipulate the element. So now I close this element inspector. Now let's get I frame title I define an element so driver dot find element by xpass so for this we can use span and for text equal to basic dialog so now iframe title element is defined let's print out the text so we can always use iframe title that text so this means the text is basic dialog for this window and the element is identified so we can use assert i frame title let's say is displayed so now the assertion is good so after the iframe manipulation is done we need to switch back to the original window so for this we can always use driver dot switch to default content so now the driver got switched to the main window so now let's do an 
Example for negative testing. Let's say if we don't switch to the iframe and if we try to find an element within that iframe, the driver will throw an error exception. So let's say currently we did not switch to the iframe. So now let's try to find the iframe element, basic dialog. So I copy this line. So control C. Now I paste onto here. We try to find the iframe title, this element, span text equals basic dialog. Now hit enter. So this red message display set, no such element. Unable to locate element. Because the driver was not switched to the iframe. So now let's re-execute the line driver dot switch to frame. So we switch to the iframe and run the line again. Control C. So Control V. Now we got switch to the frame. Now we re-execute this iframe title element. So control C. And control V. So now this element is good. So we can use I frame title that text. So the basic dialog is printed out. So we can switch back to the original window using driver dot switch to default content. Now the default content is on the focus of the driver. Now let's confirm at least one of these links. So, or we can print out all the links. Let's say resizable element resizable element equals driver dot so find element by link text let's say the link text is re sizable now let's hit enter now this element is defined now let's print out its link attribute. Let's say resizable element dot we use get attribute so h r e f now let's hit enter. So this is the element attribute for this resizable link. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can always use switch to frame to focus on a frame and do various actions on the elements within that frame. In order to switch from the frame to the main window, you can always use switch to default content. And if you don't switch to the frame and you try to manipulate elements on the frame, the system will throw errors like this. So always focus on the 
frame first and then run various script or actions against the elements within that frame. In this example, I explained how to use driver dot switch to default content and driver dot switch to frame. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.